In this video, I'm going to use ChatGPT to research Japanese stocks trading in the New York Stock Exchange. If you watch this video till the end, you will learn two things. Number one, you will see how the ChatGPT answers are compared with the traditional stock screening process. And number two, the type of stocks I try to avoid. You can use the same technique for any stock market of the world. Hello, welcome back. My name is David Dunst. Thanks for joining me. I recently made a video on ChatGPT and you know how powerful that technology is. There's a link in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing so that you do not miss my future videos. You may ask why Japanese stock? The reason is I am visiting Japan soon and I thought why not just do some more research. I asked ChatGPT what are the advantages of buying Japanese stocks? The answers were strong economy it has a very strong and stable economy number two diversification it will provide diversification to your portfolios number three low interest rate japan has probably the lowest interest rate in the whole world strong corporate governance which is good for the investors strong technological capabilities strong export oriented economy they rely heavily on exports these are the answers what i had expected so the next question I asked ChatGPT was, can you please name a few good large cap Japanese stocks trading in the New York Stock Exchange? Here are the 10 names that I got. Toyota, Sony, Canon, Honda, Mitsubishi, Panasonic, and you can read all of them. All these companies are generally very good companies. There are only four of them which are actually listed in the New York Stock Exchange. The remaining six stocks are traded over the counter and they are called OTC stocks. I personally try to avoid OTC stocks because they are of high risk because of the low liquidity. You may ask, how did I know that these stocks are OTC? Just type the symbols in any charting platform and it will tell you about the OTC. If you want to know more about what the OTC stocks are, I have provided some link in the description box below. So based on the above logic, there are only four companies that I will do for the research on. Number one, Toyota, Sony, Honda, and Canon. Now I'm going to use my personal favorite, Finway Stock Screener, to screen for large cap, good Japanese stocks. So I picked three criteria. Number one, Japan as the country, large cap, and also the price over $10. And I got six names. That includes the Toyota, Honda, Sony, Canon, and two more companies which is TAK, Takeda Pharmaceutical, and Ordix Corporation. And you have seen one of my previous videos where I said that I like companies where the earnings per share growth is more than the sales growth over the past five years. And if I use the same logic, I can eliminate the TAK and the Ordix Corporation. So now I'm left with only four companies which is similar to what I found on the chat GPT. And these are Toyota Motor Corporation, Honda, Canon, and Sony. I'm so surprised that the chat GPT results and the Finvis stock screener results are the same. Thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.